are on week two of the Easter holidays. It is Sunday and it is kind of 10 to 1. So if you haven't already checked out last week's video, essentially this week's is going to be pretty much the same because obviously I can't actually do anything in my Easter holidays, but you know what? It's fine. We're going to try and have some more entertainment going on this week. Probably not, but you know what? That's fine, you know? We're going to roll with it. I'm going to okay. go downstairs in a minute, have my lunch. Again, as usual, not do anything. I'm not doing any workouts today. No gym. I'm just having a nice chill day today, so I might play some games with my mum. Uh, I know she's enjoying Sudoku at the minute. So um, I'm going to probably do some of that with her, listen to some music and just chill. So. Everyone be proud of me today. I'm tidying my room and I'm going to do it properly. Everything is a mess. I have so much stuff. I've only tidied half my room and it's seven o'clock and I started it at like earlier. I don't know what time. So I went downstairs earlier, had some Doritos, they were yummy. I did Sudoku with my mum. Basically she was having trouble. So we just rubbed the whole thing out and then she was just basically like, you do it. So I finished it for her. Uh, that was quite fun. We played some drafts for a bit. We had ice cream. We went out for a walk. It's now 25 past 10. So I've just been sitting downstairs, like having dinner, watching TV. I'm gonna clean my tea, sort myself out, just get ready for bed, and I'll see you all in the morning. Night! England has gone back to its roots, you guys. We're back to having grey, cold, cloudy, disgusting days. And I think it's quite tragic, to be honest. Anyway, besides that, um, I'm wearing this right now because I'm going to head downstairs and do a workout. It is half past 11. I'm going to come up, have a shower and I'm just going to kind of chill for the rest of the day. Doubt I'll be going on a walk today just because we're back to our disgusting weather. But it's fine. We're going to have to deal with it. I have for the other however many days I've been on this earth. Yeah, so I'm going to head downstairs, do a workout and I'll see you later. Six hours later. Hey guys, so I've had quite an interesting day today. Um, I've been looking through like all of my old scrapbooks and sticking a load of stuff in. And I want to show you guys some stuff because I'm not going to lie to you. Some of it is quite interesting. So, I lost my hat. Hold on, I'll be back in a sec. Okay guys, so I fixed my hat situation. Hopefully we're not going to lose this stunning masterpiece this time. But um, this is the first thing I wanted to show you. So basically, I used to absolutely like be obsessed with Barbie. It was like my favourite thing. And um, I wrote a Barbie book. Goodness knows what one of those is. But it's an activity book. And it includes things such as this. Apparently it's a maze. Um, if someday anybody manages to get around that, I would hi highly appreciate you letting me know because, like, wow. There's also a little tiny one down the bottom. I don't know if you can see it there. Um, yeah, it, it's quite interesting. We've also got this, supposedly a word search, and then there is no word search. Um, so it's a really, really good activity book. It's on sale now for five ninety nine. You can buy it at your local stores. Um, it's a bit, a bit odd. We've also got some drawings. And we've also got another maze. And also at the end, um, with this last maze, we have a beautiful piece written from my mum and dad. It says, my special, spelled S-P-E-S-H-L, because in case you weren't aware, that is how it's spelled. Mummy and Daddy, I hope you love this maze. If you love it, it is good. Because right there, proper English, Shakespeare, he should be getting inspired from me. Because that, that my friends, is class. We also have another top quality piece of work for you here. This is apparently from Tesco's. It says, dear all, today we have got a special sale on pizza. This time, never mind, special's still not spelt right. It says, come and try maybe, from best Tesco. And nowadays... The slogan for Tesco's is every little helps. But back in the day, you see, it was completely different. Back in the day, my friends, it was actually all little helps. 
Also, we have, okay, rude. I literally just glued that down and it just decided to fall out. You know what, we're just gonna roll with it. But we have a Tesco ticket um, for the sale. I don't know why you need a ticket for it, but apparently you do. Um, we're just gonna leave that falling out, it's fine. Now we are in the latest book of them all. This is 2011. I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of ashamed for what I created like not even that long ago. But it's fine, you know? So anyway, so I just wanna just let you guys know, I have made a passport because this is totally legal. And um, there's some drawings in it. So this is London, and as you can quite clearly see, this is obviously the Queen. And the Queen being as amazing as she is, she decides to be taller than Big Ben, because apparently that's now a thing. Um, we also have France. France is pretty normal. We've got the flag. I was quite proud that I knew the flag, because we all know that my geography skills are not great. Um, we've also got Spain. Got a beautiful woman here in what looks like a chef outfit, but that's fine. We'll go with that. Next, guys, we've got Italy. If someone can tell me what this is, you know what? I would highly appreciate it because I made this ages ago and I'm still not 100% sure on what this is meant to be in Italy because it's certainly not the country. So, yeah. So, if you know what that is, can you put a comment down below, please? Because I need some help. Also, we've got Greece. Yeah, I don't know what this is either. Um, it's some blue thing with a crown on its head because, I mean, why not? So, if somebody also knows what that is, also put that in the comments below because I'm, I might label these one day. Oh, also, another thing, Africa. This is Africa. Again, if you know what it is, put it in the comments below because I have absolutely no squiddly dink. Australia, we've drawn a zoo entrance, and I think it's a zoo that doesn't even exist, but that's fine. We've got America. We've got the tiny Statue of Liberty looking ravishing right there. Um, what else have we got? Oh, yeah, we've got China. This is a panda. Don't ask me how I know that. I just do. Um, and then we've got a picture of me. It's a cute picture. There you go. Um, my grandma has that picture. It's really cute. She takes it with her everywhere. It's really tatty though. My Castell. There you go. We've got another book made by me. Um, this page, there's a beautiful drawing of a witch. And it says, witches are not real. Alright? Just to make it clear. However, a fun fact for you guys, right? Turn the page. There's a drawing of a mermaid. And it says, Mermaids are real, and you want to know why? It's been written on paper, right? Because Abigail has seen one. I mean, why has she not told us this before? Abigail has seen a real mermaid, and I'm like, it's, it's proof, it's on paper. There it is, and you've never told us. And last, but certainly not least, we have my shopping list. Or should I say, my sop list, because... That is apparently what it is. It is a sock list. Um, it's by Megan, funnily enough. And I'm going to try reading out to you guys what we need. Soup. S-O-O-P. Per? Per. P-E-R, whatever that is. Um, biscotti. Ah, that is spaghetti bolognese. I used to call it biscotti. B-S-G-E-T-Y, English. Sirids, it's S-I-R-E-E-D-S. Um, Orit, O-R-I-T. Apod, A-P-O-D. Sweets, okay, so that goes to show that I have got the biggest sweet tooth, okay? Because that is the only one on here that I've actually been able to spell right so far. Sweets. Bread. Oh, I've also spelt bread right, but I do like my bread. Well, I forgot the A, but I squeezed it in, so it's okay. We've also got raisins. I'm guessing that's raisins. That's spelt R-A-I-S-O-O-S. -O -O -S. I mean, you guys, you've seen it here, okay? 
next time I'm able to leave my house, I'm going shopping to Tesco's and buying this because all little helps. Okay guys, so it's it's ten past ten. Um, I've just come upstairs. I was watching TV, obviously like having dinner earlier on. Um, that was quite fun downstairs. Finished the last episode of The Nest. I highly recommend if you haven't watched it. It's so good. Um, it's on BBC One, so if you've got BBC iPlayer, it should be on there. Now I'm coming up to bed. I'm going to get dressed. Um, my hair's done because I don't have the effort to change it, so I'll just sleep like this. Wash my face and get into bed. So see you tomorrow. Night! Morning, everyone. So it is... 20 past 12, we're just not going to talk about that, it's fine, if you've watched last week's video, it's nowhere near as bad, this was good last week, so, you know. Today I'm doing like a homework day, because even though like, we're not in school, I have still have work set to do like, over the Easter, not much, just, I've got to do some art, and history, and I think that's it, because I've done my, I've done my maths like, when we were still at school. So yeah, so I've got that to do, so I'm gonna do that today. And then if I finish, hopefully I'll get to chill later. Good morning, so I'm not actually doing anything today. I am going to probably film like me doing my makeup and getting ready. I want to tidy my room, but I doubt I will. I'm gonna do a virtual sleepover with Megan later, which will be very, very fun. I'm looking forward to it. Um, other than that, I really don't know what I'm going to do. Hopefully nothing. Oh, I'm dyeing mum's hair. That's what I'm doing. I'm going to dye mum's hair. Which should be interesting because first time for everything. <laughs> you know what this reminds me of? Witch Hazel. No, that's not the film. <laughs> Blair Witch. <laughs> Neither. Because <laughs> is, that, is that the ending? Good morning, everyone. I woke up at like half ten. And I thought I'd be more tired, I'm genuinely not. Like, I woke up and I felt so horrible, like, yeah, like, ugh. But now I don't, I feel quite good. Kind of got a lot of energy. It's mum's birthday tomorrow, so I have a feeling people will probably, like, pop around to post cards. So I'm not sure if they are or not. But I don't, I'm not actually doing anything. So I really, I tidied my bath from yesterday because my mum wanted to clean it but i say that when i say i tidy it i mean i got like seven makeup bags and just threw everything in there and then i was like that will do so i kind of need to sort through all of that i actually do need to get on i need to remake my bed and my like sofa bed because i slept on my sofa bed last night we've discovered i've pulled a muscle in my leg when I did a workout, I think I must have pulled a muscle because it really, really hurts, like even walking down the stairs, which isn't good. And it's quite strange because I don't know how I've managed to do it because I didn't even do anything really leggy. Yeah, so that's all fun. Your people, I actually look like dead, but that's fine. So I don't actually know what I did today. I don't really know, to be fair. Um, nothing. I actually, yeah, I did nothing today. I woke up quite late because obviously didn't really sleep last night, so yeah. And then I sat on the sofa playing on my phone for like all day. And then I ate and then I watched TV and I'm going to bed. Bye bye. Hello everyone, I just wanted to give you a big apology for not filming yesterday. Obviously, I was very tired from not going to sleep till like five o'clock on Tuesday. So I got up kind of late and then I got ready and then went downstairs and was just sorting through the cupboards again. Didn't think you'd be very interested in that. That took up most of the day. Really, I had a shower and hair wash, did an ab workout. Um, that was it. So yeah, so I didn't have a very interesting day, so I didn't feel the need for you guys to see it. But today it's going to be a slightly more interesting. Well... 
I say that, is it? Probably not, but that's fine. Um, it's like five past 12. I know we're going on a walk today because we're dropping off uh, Juliet's present because it's her birthday today. So happy birthday to you. I'm doing another workout today. I'll do some more point. Um, maybe a bit of gym. That's it. So again, haven't got a particularly interesting day, but see you later. Hi, hi, hi. So today's mum's birthday. So I'm probably, I'm going to try and film, but I don't know how much I will. It will either be, I'm able to film loads of. We're going to go down and mum wants to do like bacon or something. So we're going to do that. Um, yeah, I'm a bit confused. Dad got her some really weird stuff for her birthday. He got her like a really gross chain. Like it was really fat and ugly. And it used to be his. Excuse me. Anyway, um, and then she, he was like, "Well, no, it's just a clue," so I'm not really sure exactly. And then, yeah, I'm gonna go down make a cake. I think. Um, we've had a few presents thrown over the wall, which has been amazing because we've been like, "Oh, there's a present on the floor." Oh, so I was just throwing one over. I'm not really sure, but yeah. Hi guys. So again, I haven't had a hugely interesting day today. Um. I went on my walk earlier, that was nice, dropped off obviously Juliet's present um, and then we kind of extended the walk from there. I haven't really done much else, I didn't, I didn't end up doing my workout on point today, I'm going to do that tomorrow instead just simply because I didn't have the effort today. It's now like coming up to quarter past ten, so as usual I'm just going to clean my teeth, do my hair which decided to fall like halfway down my head and I don't know why. But that's fine we're just gonna we're just gonna go with it yeah so just need to do that and then take off my makeup and i'm heading to bed so I'll see you tomorrow night love you i basically just thought i was doing anything today i woke up did nothing went downstairs did nothing went back upstairs got dressed went downstairs spoke to my cousin on facetime then I ate more food than I went into the lounge and I watched TV and then I had a bath and then I ate some more food. That is basically my fascinating day. I genuinely, I, I didn't do anything. I don't know where the whole day went. I don't really know what happened. But yeah, I mean, I didn't even do my hair. I mean, to be honest, it's a miracle I even like made my bed or even got out of bed or even got dressed, you know, that was a really good start. I was like, go me. But then the rest of the day kind of just went downhill. Once again, you guys, I'm so sorry for not filming. Basically, today, all of my plans have gone completely down the drain. So I wanted to get up and then do a workout this morning. But for some reason, I didn't get up till like quarter past ten. And then I was like laying in bed for like goodness knows how long. So then I planned to do a workout and have a shower. And then have my lunch and then I had some school work to do. But apparently, no. Apparently that didn't happen. Can't tell you why, but it didn't. So instead, I did my school work. I ate my lunch and then I didn't do anything for the next, like, goodness knows how long. And then I did a workout and did point at, like, half five tonight. So my plans have gone completely down the drain. It's 20 to 11 at the minute. So now I've just given you an overview of my day. Um, I'm gonna clean my teeth and take off my makeup and then like get dressed and stuff and I'm gonna head off to bed because I'm leaving my hair like this. So I'll see you tomorrow. Night, love you. So today's Saturday and it is five to one. I know it's late. Again, I woke up late. I'm just getting as much of this sleep as I can before I then have to get up to do my live lessons again on Monday. Whoopie doo, I'm overjoyed in case you couldn't tell i'm planning on doing another workout um and essentially that is it we're not doing anything so have fun i have eczema like all over my face which is not fun like today is not going well so you know what i've decided i've decided i'm going to put in loads of effort which is probably not going to turn out right it's probably going to cause me loads of stress it's going to take me like four hours to get ready but we don't care today's not going well Ooh. I don't like potato. Ouch. Um, I went for a walk today, which I'm really proud of because I haven't gone for a walk in like absolutely ages. And I took my parents somewhere, which is quite nice because then it, I could choose kind of like where we went. And then, yeah. And because I was like kind of happy with what I was wearing, I was like, okay, we can like go 
for like a longer walk so we can not see more people but you know what I mean like if like a car drives past I'm not gonna be like oh my god ew okay so I'm just gonna like get ready for bed kind of yeah take off all my makeup my parents are watching a film upstairs so if I'm not tired I'll probably go up and watch that with them I'm, I'm not sure but anyway because I was like planning on taking loads of videos today and then it took me until like three o'clock in the afternoon to get ready so I'm like six hours and it was so much effort and it didn't even turn out that great. Oh, I cut my eyebrows because why not? I was like, that should be fun. Let's just ruin them. So I got a pair of scissors and literally just cut my eyebrows. But I tell you what, they could have come out worse, you know? Like, they, don't, they haven't come out like amazing. Like, oh my gosh, look at my eyebrows. But you know what I mean? Like, I could have like cut off half of them. They could be like this long. But they're not. So that's good. Yeah. Night, everyone. Hi everyone, so today is the last day of the vlog. It's 20 past 11, so today, I'm actually kind of excited for today because even though I've got to do like all the school stuff tomorrow, which isn't fun, today um, I'm going to try and upcycle some old t-shirts. I'm kind of excited to do that. Um, I don't have anything else planned for the day. I'm not doing any workouts today. I think I'm probably just going to chill today for tomorrow, especially because, right, I'm really annoyed. So I woke up so early this morning and I have no clue why. I didn't get to sleep till like quarter past 11. And then apparently I decided to wake up at like 25 past six this morning. I'm like, sorry, what? Why are you waking me up at this time? I'll probably just chill before then having to do like all of my work and stuff tomorrow, which I'm not excited for. people's today my dad hung up a cabinet in my bathroom i discovered i have so many bottles of goodness only knows what i have like i don't know like 70 and it's mad so i had to sort through all of those like chuck old ones out keep the ones that i have i found so many that i forgot i even like had like loads of presents that i got for my birthday this year so i was like oh that's quite fun so i've hung up the cabinet now but all my stuff in it there's so much stuff but it's all quite organized now it's all pretty my bathroom is so tidy because it was a mess but i literally did that all day today i genuinely got dressed at five that is when i put on actual clothes because before then i was just in my pajamas getting on um yeah and then i got dressed and then i ate and then that's it Hey guys, now I've upcycled all of my t-shirts. That was really fun. So I thought I'd show you what I've made. So here we go. So this is the first top I made. I've just got a little bralette on underneath it because it's really short and then you can see like the little lace, which is really cute. Um, the little bottom of it is rolled up and I literally just got a top, cut off the sleeves and cut off the bottom. Okay, so this is my second one. Um, this is kind of like for day and for bed. It's just like a little black t-shirt. And then it's cropped and I've like rolled the bottoms up a little bit and cut the sleeves and they've got like a little pointy thing going on. Okay, so this is the next thing I made. This came from um, a top that I made like another top out of and then this is like the bottom of it. So I just made it into like a little bandeau. And then you can like tie it at the back and it's quite cute and it's nice and summery. This is my next one. You can't really see but like, if I... there's like a little fold in it at the top. I made this from the uh, little black one, just from the bottom half of that, because again that was a long t-shirt, so when I cut it, it like cut in half. So um, again, this has got like a little tie-up thingy at the back, and yeah, it's really cute. Okay, so this little bandeau that I've made here is actually slightly different. This one's made from like a really old scarf that we just wanted to throw out, and we just apparently still had it. Um, and I made it with like a little. Let me show you what they look like. It's like this. I got this off of another old t-shirt. It's like a little bead thing. And then you thread the scarf through it and then you bring it around the front and you can tie it to create like this little twisted pattern at the bottom. So I thought this was really cute and holiday so I was really proud of it. So as you can see I made a load of really really cool like t-shirts and stuff like that out of all of that old clothing. I think I used four t-shirts in total and I got like eight from it and then I got all of my scarf ones as well so I just showed you a few there and honestly I had so much fun doing it like it took up quite a lot of time as well so if you're bored in quarantine 
highly recommend upcycling a load of old t-shirts and just playing around and seeing what you can make because honestly I had so much fun and I think they're some of my favourite tops to be honest like they're so nice. I'm really sorry the quality of this is so bad I'm filming on my iPad because my phone just decided to die on me so I need to charge that before we finish this video and upload it because that's not fun. Today I've had a far more interesting day than I think any of the other days in this half term because honestly you don't understand how much fun I had doing them tops like I know I keep going on about it but it was so fun after that as well I made rocky road cakes I mean look at me crafty crafty human who me maybe I should make a new account and just call it crafty human because quite clearly that's me but um honestly I've had such a fun day so if, you, if you're a bit stuck on what to do whilst in quarantine highly recommend upcycling some old tops and baking because I'll tell you now it was fun that pretty much just took up the whole day so in a minute i'm just gonna get dressed and go downstairs and like chill just watch tv and stuff like that because i've just eaten dinner and um i'd just like to thank all of you so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed this week's video if you haven't already make sure to click that subscribe button down there and turn on your push notifications so you know when next week's video can be released we'll see you all next week bye love you so much you mean the world to me